All right, so I'm trying something really weird right now. Um, basically, I'm recording from my phone, and I'm screen recording my phone while using TeamViewer, and I'm working on... I'm basically using my phone to record audio while I record my screen. And I also turned the uh, screen resolution down so it would fit the aspect ratio of my phone better because the monitor I'm using is very square and it's very tall in a way and I needed to make it more wider so now things look a little stretched which is weird too um, nobody really knows about these but there's um, commands and you type slash help you can see all the client commands and if you're the host you have a uh, server commands you could use for example warning don't touch my balls and it'll give warning to the to the server it says I can't this is what's pretty cool about using this I could zoom in and show you warning don't touch my balls and that's it's useful if you have a it's very useful for me specifically because a lot of times I do this thing where I make a really big ah oh, see I already kind of messed up but I make a big tower of bowling balls and you know sometimes when I'm online people will come over and mess up mess it up and and they all fall down before I can make it really big but that, so sometimes you need to send a warning to tell people you know not to touch your balls um. Weapons was something that people were really excited for, but I haven't done much with it. Um, let's look at some code. I'm using uh, Visual Studio Code for, I'm kind of new to it, because I used to use uh, Visual Studio, but it took forever to open up whenever I wanted to change a script, so I used this. It's like a lightweight model of it, and it's pretty good, except for it's, it has its downsides. It feels like it's still in the it's beta stage but so a problem with this is uh, it's my first like networking project and there's a lot of limitations with unity's networking so I, I ended up cr cramming a lot of uh, what I would normally make into a bunch of separate scripts into one script so for example uh, the spawner script is <laughs> I mean I think this was for spawning um, it's for spawning game objects over the server, such as props and whatnot, and I don't even believe it does that anymore. I think, oh wait, yeah, I know it still, it still spawns objects over the server. That's one, one method uh, in this script does that. The rest of it's for sending server messages, for uh, handling the commands, and, and the chat, even the chat, it's the whole chat. Well, is it the whole chat? Uh, even changing weapons from the uh, pause menu, which is going to change. I'm going to end up making it so you drop weapons instead. Uh, one thing I want to show off before I end this video is that uh, quick play is going to be something that actually works correctly now. Um, but create match. It now uh, you get this little menu. You can pick how many people you want to join. Right now, it's intervals are of two, even numbers two, four, six, and eight. I might change this later. I don't know. Give me some feedback. Would you like groups of three people and five people and seven people? Uh, would you like to see this number go up to sixteen? Uh, I haven't done any kinds of tests like that yet because we haven't had enough people to test the game like that. I want to eventually test the game with thirty-two people in a room and see how that will go down. So big boom and bada bing it's connecting and there you go this is something that's going to be the next update I wanted to try to fix some bugs but I don't know how much time I'll have there's some things I don't really want to show I already did but uh, I just want to make it so you can yeah this is what I'm planning to do I'm planning to do some improvements to the gun. There's a lot of bugs that I wanted to fix and just stuff like that.
and you'll see in the next update. Bye.